All right, this video is a real quick demonstration of how the plurality method for voting works. Um, we're told that diners at a restaurant were asked about their favorite course of the meal, where A is appetizer, E is entree, and D is dessert. So using the plurality method, which course is the favorite? Which course has the most, uh, the most votes? Well, in this particular case, in plurality method, as you can see down here, it's the candidate that has the most first place votes. And that's the key. So we really only need to concentrate. We really only need to concentrate on this row right here and only this row, the first place votes. We don't care about the second place. We don't care about the third place. We're only looking at that top row for first place. And you can see that of these uh, courses, right, you can see that entrees had a total of 21 first place votes you can see that uh, desserts well it's not just this 13 desserts also has this 5 right here you can see that D showed up twice all right so we're gonna add those two up and say hey desserts has a total of 18 first place votes and appetizers well not so good that only came in uh, with seven first place votes. So as we look at all of these options here, you can see that, let me get rid of this. All right, you can see that the entrees had the most first place votes. That's it, entree is the winner. That's how plurality works. Um, again, you know, D showed up twice um, in, in two different columns here, and that's fine, just add up the totals but it's the total of the first place votes and whoever has the most first place votes is the winner. Very, really simple. It's the easiest of all four voting methods, plurality.